All right. JJ, here we go. Um, yeah, this is the, one of the games from our inner squad scrim yesterday. I'm not sure which one it was, but uh, one of the ones where we were on the same team. So here we go. All fine and dandy. I think this is another one of those instances where um, you're being a little too aggressive. What I want to look at was I think... I think you're overall a little too aggressive and that leaves you in awkward positions a lot. Um, I think if you just turn back more and you're you're ready to just go into the play with like full momentum and everything, that'll help. 99% of the time after you do the kickoff, you want to turn back because you just went and you're essentially first person. There's no way, even though you grab full boost here, there's very little chance that you're going to be the next person in the play. Uh, so you almost always want to turn back here. And you already kind of have the momentum going back because Abe's already being pushed up. I'm behind Abe kind of being second person. Um, so you almost always want to turn back. This is fine. This is fine. He maybe could have jumped on this 50, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I'm trying to see if you're too close. I think this is fine because I should have hit the ball. Um, and you're probably expecting Abe to hit it off the corner hard or something. So I think this is okay. But like you see how slow you're moving right now? I think it, it would be better if you went back more and had more speed. So more distance but more speed. And I think that is probably why you feel like you're playing the way you ought to be playing and you just keep losing because I find myself doing that on my losing streaks as well. And I always just tell myself, just just one step back from where you are currently. Just just give it one more step back and then you're fine. Because now you're kind of awkward where if you were that one step back, you'd be able to go for this. That's a good block. It's fine. You don't know what's going to happen here. This is all good. Oh, that ended up being the craziest play ever. Um, I still think, though, like, because you see me pushed up, this is really risky for you to go here because you can't tell what's going to happen. If Tanner hits that, like, over my head or wins a 50 or something, it could be a goal for them because you're so close here. Um, it ends up working out, but yeah, just still pretty risky that you try to, I think you just try to stay in the play a little bit too long in threes. Anytime two people are right on the ball like this, odds are you probably shouldn't also be there. Yeah, we scored. We'll go to the next one. So in this formation, it's your job to cheat up here. Because it's really awkward for the person right next to him to cheat up, but it's all good. Nice little front flip, no worries. And then again, you're just really close this whole time. Just keep going back here. Like he might pinch that to the right, yeah, and then you'd be there. But you'd if even if you backed up and just had more speed, you would still beat any of the defenders there. They're not ready for it. And now that you kept like creeping forward. Because here, I'm going to zoom out here. So you can see like what this looked like from like my perspective. You On offense, you always want to create the, the magical little triangle. Uh, where's my drawing tool? The magical little triangle of like this, there, and there. Uh, to cover all three of those sides. And we are in that triangle, but the triangle is so small right now that it's really dangerous because they could easily hit it over our heads. You usually want at least one person kind of near half half field. Um, and you creeping in, see, I, I have the better attacking angle here. Your job is to cover the clear to the outside. And you're trying to, you are like ready to cover like maybe a pinching that over here. Um, but yeah, what you really want to do is make sure that that ball cannot get over your head. So even if it pinches over there and they beat you to the ball, your job is to just not let them get past you. You just got to get a 50. Maybe you go up on a wall. Maybe you just cover right here. But if you're sitting about here or maybe even here, you'll be sitting a lot better. 
And it ends up in a goal, but yeah, they could have like blocked that or something, you don't really know. So you cheat on this one. This is fine. You can maybe grab some more pads around here. And again here, I think you just this turn right here is a little aggressive. If you turn the opposite way, because anything that uh is on so when you're in oh shoot this jumps back a lot okay 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 when you're in this position you're getting ready to turn anything that's going to be on uh anything that's going to be on this side of you here is most likely abe's going to get a touch and follow up the only way he's going to pass you is if he hits it way out middle and so for you to be ready for that, it's probably better for you to turn this way here. Because what ends up happening is because you turn so close to the ball, you guys end up double committing. And like, think about what better angle you would have had if you were further middle field to kind of hit this the opposite direction of the ball instead of going with it. You're like limited on options when you're going the same direction as the ball. Yeah, and then you're rotating the same way as Abe. Uh, I'm not sure if that boost is actually there or not because uh, replay bug. But you see that he's going for this big boost already, and he's already way more outside. Just cut in and grab other pads at this point. Just, just cut in and grab these, circle around, and watch the play from there. <laughs> so now that happens. Then we're getting this one. This is good. That's a really good touch, actually. Um, maybe a little aggressive to put this on net. I mean, most people would be ready for it. I could have got the bump, too. I guess if I would have got the bump, it would have been a goal. So maybe that's why it's a good shot. You could have put off backboard as well. But the shot was really good. If I would have had the bump, it would have been a goal. I want to look at this touch, too. You... I guess you want to go for something cool and it just bounced down. Um, what you could do that would be a little bit safer is you could just hit this without jumping off the wall. Just time it right and drive into it. Because if you, when you jump, you're so committed. But like in twos, especially, you would want to hit it without jumping. Uh, but just a thought. But if you want to go for a crazy double, don't blame me. See, this is good distance here. Like the way you're just slowing down and kind of like getting back. Because you know you have no boost. And because you went, you were so much further back. Like, look where you were at the point of like contact. At the point of contact here, you're like behind midfield. That's why you have you're so not awkward here. Just let them do their thing, and they're gonna end up giving the ball to you. I think you just didn't get the first touch you wanted. That's fine. Here again, you're so close. You're so close to this ball. This is totally Abe's to go for. And you are so close to it that, like, if K50s or Abe takes it, you're just going to either, like, I think Abe ends up dribbling it, and you're just so close behind him that you can't do anything after the next collision that happens. What you want to do is just take a deep breath, back up a little bit, maybe take this path. You maybe even just trust that Abe has it. Maybe you have time to go for full boost, and then you'll create a lot more space between you and the ball. One person. I guess maybe it actually ends up being okay because it doesn't stay on it but i think it would have been okay regardless that was a good little play there i think you have more space here to maybe take it off the backboard or something good bump attempt i don't really know how you stalled right here that's actually crazy Oh, one of the flippers said so bad. But even, let's look at that again. I want to see what you're doing. Um, yeah, there's a chance that I could pass and drop that straight down. Your position is okay there. That's fine. You jumped really early there. It's okay. Good job circling, getting momentum. 
one thing I'd recommend here, I don't know, we don't know where Abe is at this point. We've drawn, driven in so many circles, we don't know where Abe is. There's a chance that he could be midfield right behind you and he's ready to go for this. Let's see. Mm, kind of. Um, what I would maybe do, and maybe he said that you can go for it. I'm not sure where comms were at this point, but you can maybe just cap off of uh, ball cam real quick before you go to this because you know you have enough time. That's fine. Like, I know this, like, looks embarrassing that you got faked or whatever, but he had to shoot this. He ends up, you bought enough time for the defense to get back. So you did your job. Uh, I think there's a little bit awkward positioning here. I think it's because maybe because you missed that pad and then you realize you didn't have any boost. It is your job to go upfield and be second person here. Like, you should be up on that next boost pad off field rather than back. I know you don't have a lot of boost, but I think you can still... You would have maybe two boost pads and you'd be fine. And then you'd be right on that ball right there. And then you're also front post. You end up having the net behind you. You always want the net to be in front of you because now this is like, yeah, puts you in an awkward position because you're just a little bit too close again. Just one step back. One, Take a deep breath, one step back from where you should be. Yeah, stealing the boost there is good. Unfortunately, that you got demoed. Yeah, I think you're just a little hesitant. Like, you're, like, tapping boost a little bit. If you would have boosted the whole way, maybe flip, you would have got there. Um, I want to see this from my perspective. Because watching your perspective, I would expect you to go upfield there to be the passer or be ready to be the passing option. Because um, I'm behind you. And I can cover this side. And I think I quickly turn upfield because I see that you turn back. But if you watch this from my perspective, I get back post. It looks like I'm ready for you to turn up. Apparently I had that line drawn there for a long time. Um, I'm ready for you to turn upfield. And then when I see you don't, then I'm like, oh shoot. And now the midfield's like wide open and no one's there. But you could have been there. It's an okay touch. You didn't have a whole lot of options there. Rotating wide. This is good. See, this is a good amount of space here. You, you have a lot of space and your timing the collision is better. I think you heard me. So you, okay, let's see if you can know where I am. Yeah, you see me go left side there. So on this next collision with Colin going up for it, you know that I'm left side. Your job is to cover right side, like under Abe, and kind of replace him. Oh, if you have more boost. Good bump. Good boost grabbing as well. Abe needs to cut quicker than that. He kind of cut you off there and made it awkward timing for you. That's fine, that's a tough read. Good demo. Yeah, way to rotate deep into, into net here to give yourself time and to time that collision better if Colin would have hit it. This is all good, I don't have too many criticisms. That's good, good save by Tanner. I wanna see if there's a better way. I think you just jumped a little too early. If you just take your time, I think you can cut this harder and one more power. Because then you could kind of circle around um, and hit it in there. This is all fine. Yeah, just waiting this third. You have good patience there to see if they were going to get it. Good recoveries with the half flip. 
Oh boy, this is what dreams are made of. You have so much space here. You just jumped when you didn't have to. You, when you see Colin flip back right there, you have all the time in the world. You can catch this. You can let it bounce one more time and then like take it off the wall. You can let it, like you can catch it and take it up the wall. Um, you can just catch it in hard in field with a little with a well timed cut. And they're all just shaking in their boots and in, in net right now. And you kind of just give that away. This is what is super important for us to capitalize on. Or times like those. Good demo, though. Yeah, good patience here. Unfortunate touch there. Good coverage there. Like... This is this is really good spacing here this time. Colin has no option but to give you the ball right here. Uh, you maybe could have just double jumped into it instead of flipping. If you would just double jump, then you could land on the wall, maybe hit another, hit it again. But yeah, now time's running out, and this is all good. Let's game. Okay, so yeah, my, my biggest takeaway from that is to just take one step back from where you think you should be and be really careful when you aren't, if you go from first man to second man, make sure that like there's room for that and you're not cutting anybody off or just being a little too aggressive. I think sometimes you just try to stay in the play on the side a little bit too much. Um, and if you just get all the way back or maybe take just circle back a little bit more, maybe when you're need to do a full 180 turn the opposite way instead of turning in towards the play turn away from the play so you have a better angle at attacking it um i think those are are my biggest takeaways from this uh this replay but other than that good stuff